All right, folks, this is a uh, 2016 Ford Taurus SEL. Customer complaint, grind noise in the back. Think I need rotors? Think I need brakes? Oh yeah, there's hardly anything left on here. All right, let's see here. I'll show you the back pads. These are the back pads. And yeah, just barely there, almost about to touch the metal. The front pad over here, that's definitely touching the metal. That's already shot. All right, so we're going for rotors and we're going for brake pads. All right, the way to change them out, first thing is two bolts. These are 13s. Okay, these are 13s to remove the caliper. If you see the back nut here spinning at the same time, because it's frozen, this is a 15. 15 combination wrench will hold it, 13 will come right out. After that, the caliper will come out, push it off to the side. Now, to get to the rotors, I gotta take this bracket off. This bracket is held on by two 15 millimeter bolts. They're very tight if they've never been removed before. All right, so take your time, take them out, use a half inch drive, 15 millimeter. This one here is fine. When you use a half inch ratchet for the bottom piece, when it gets up to a certain point, the ratchet is going to bottom out here. And then you're not going to be able to remove the ratchet. So loosen it up enough that you still remove the ratchet. And then you're going to have to reduce yourself down to a 15 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Or just go with a 3 8 drive ratchet. All right? Because a half inch drive with a short socket is going to hit this. And you're going to bottom out. And then you're not going to be able to remove the bolt. All right? So 15 millimeter over here. Takes the two bolts out. Then this caliper is going to fall right out. Listen, when you put this back, make sure you get the hardware kit, change it. See how the hardware is so rusty? All right, because you want the new ones to slide back and forth. All right, this comes out. Look at that pad, down to the middle. All right, now we're down to the rotor. Now the rotor has one screw right here. It's a Torx. It's a 40 millimeter, a 40 Torx. Let me see. Hang on. Let's pull out the socket here. The T40. A T40, here it is right here. Okay, now if your guys are like me, old school, I don't have the uh, impact socket for that. Because the one that I buy from Craftsman only comes with the Phillips and a straight. So, in order to take this one out without an impact, okay, what I did was, especially since I'm up in the air, somebody's got to hold the wheel. So you can't step on the brakes. So you know what I did? I took my little long screwdriver right here. What I did was I put it right here in like this, held it up against the body, okay? And that will hold it so when you're turning the bolt, the stud's gonna grab this screwdriver and it's gonna wedge up against the body and it's gonna hold the wheel still. All right, so that's a little tip for you guys. All right, right across here, when you put the socket in there, it's gonna spin. Just like that, okay? And the wheel is going to be held because this is held onto the body. All right, that's my trick there. Now, since this is the old sock, uh, the old rotor, and you don't really need it, you see it's all rusty over here. Just take a nice little sledge and hit it hard enough. When you hit it hard enough, it's gonna it's gonna pop out. Okay, remember you don't need the old rotor, so who cares? That comes out, and now you're down to here. All right, so I recommend you guys take a little uh, sandpaper, sand this off a little bit, all right, to make it nice and clean. And to put it back, same way. All right, get your new rotors, clean the oil off the rotors. I'm gonna go to AutoZone right now. Put the rotor back on, put your screw back on. Your bracket, definitely clean this all off. Take the shoe off, take these clips off, wire brush it all in there, wire brush the whole thing, matter of fact. All right, nice and clean. Change the hardware, put the bracket back on here with the 15 millimeter bolts, tighten up nice and tight. Change the hardware on there, and then you're up to the caliper part. The caliper part now, you see, it's not electronic uh, brakes, so it's the old school one with this has to screw in as you're pushing it in. 
Okay, now as you're pushing it in and screwing it in, you need a tool. All right, they sell those little square blocks you can use. You could do that. Or fancy dancy, you can get one of these things with the universal pieces. All right, this one here, you pick the right size that fits into those grooves, like this one here. Fits into the grooves right there. See those two little grooves? There's one here and one here. It's gonna fit right in there like that perfectly. Okay, that's where it's gonna grab it and that's gonna spin it. Okay, now, once you get that, then you set it up in your tool. It's like a little magnet over here. You line up your little holes here. Like that. This is gonna go up against the caliper and as you turn it, it's gonna push the other way and it's gonna turn it at the same time. Now, let me set it up for you and then I'll show you. All right, hold on. All right, so this is what it looks like when you hook up the uh, tool. All right, this is a 7 8 nuts and you can turn this with your hand. So as you hold this with your 7 8 so you can hold it by hand depending on how hard this piston is, what you do is you crank this in. When you crank this in, it's gonna push this piston, turn the piston clockwise and push it in at the same time when this is going against the bracket, okay? And then, like I said, you line up those two little uh, notches on there and you push away, all right? Hold on. All right, so again, dark here, so daylight savings time is upon us. So like I said, you can hold this. I put the rotor back on just to hold this cowl. See, as I'm spinning it, all right, I'm holding this by hand. So this holds it against the, the caliper and the other piece is pushing in. All right. You don't have to push on it only because it, it's already doing that tension. If you got that little square little block for like three bucks, you got to push it in at the same time and turn it. This one saves you for that. Okay? Once it locks up, then you're good. What you want to do is you want to loosen it up and back it off. All right, you use a wrench like a this. We'll send it up. All right, now, when you get to this point, you see this, this two little notches here, they have to be up and down this way. So, what you can do is, you can put it back on, okay? You're gonna adjust it so that it's straight up and down. Like that, all right? I guess if you look at it this way, it's the uh, 12 o'clock and six o'clock position. Then you're all ready for your new parts. All right, so off to the store, get the new parts, and you put it all back together. All right, that's it. Want me to show you how to put it back together? That'll take another 14 minutes. But let me run to the store. All right, hold on.